What is something about sex that you wish someone had told you? That everybody likes different things. That sex isn't standardized. A bunch of my moves were either unappreciated or disliked by my current girlfriend. I had to learn a whole new set. Lucky for me. She's awesome. She had some learning to do as well. Dot dot dot. Where the vagina actually is. Why is the hole so far down? That's why nature provided various holes all over the body. It's like different levels of difficulty. Confirmed. Got penis stuck in navel once. Sex with each new person is a completely different experience. Just because you respond one way with one person doesn't mean it will be the same with everyone else. Sex is so much more about communication and working together than just techniques. Enthusiasm alone trumps technique. How sweaty it can be. Like two wet towels slopping together. Suction cup belly farts. Enough said. Girls get sore. Sex on a beach is not half as good as the movies make it out to be. Sand being pushed into your vagina burns. Sex without condoms is amazing. Wear them for as long as possible because getting a taste of unprotected sex is like watching HD Blu-ray. There's no way you'll ever want to go back to the condom VHS bullshit. I'm not condoning unprotected sex. I'm of this mindset. Personally. I just wish somebody told me to resist the urge because god damn it. We weren't meant to f with our dicks wrapped in plastic. I wish someone had told me that it's normal for a guy not to want to have sex all the time. I'm a woman with a pretty high libido. And it's really really depressing when you are in the mood and your male so turns you down. From our culture, you'd expect that it's like a switch. I'm ready. Okay let's go. Getting turned down as a woman can make you feel ugly, unwanted, and extremely unsatisfied. I've come to the conclusion that it's okay for my guy to be too tired, too focused on work or for him to be the one with the migraine, it doesn't mean he finds me any less attractive. Too much pressure on the clit hurts. I thought I could abuse it like my penis. I wish I had known a long time ago that sex is much better when I get off too. I wasted so much time never getting off and just pleasing my partner. Thankfully, this is no longer the case. When I first started having sex I was a bit premature. This bothered me, so I got really good at foreplay. When the girl comes first, all pressure is taken off. I'm not premature anymore and I still live by this rule. Men. Ladies will tell their friends about you. And if you break up amicably at least one of those ladies will contact you without fail. No matter how sweet and compassionate of a guy you are, and how delicate your lovemaking style is, sometimes girls really want to be pounded like a you are a drunken Roman gladiator. I wish that someone would have explained to me that it's not serious business. Sex is fun and exciting, and weird things are going to happen. Sounds, smells and some of the actions just aren't glorious. If you and your so can be serious, then laugh about something that happened mid-romp and then continue. It's going to be a good day. Once the air conditioning went off in the middle of summer, and I was too serious about getting her off, was before I realized sex was fun and not always serious nearly had a heat stroke and fell out in the floor. Later we had a good laugh about it. Sometimes condoms break or slip. It's still possible to get pregnant having responsible sex. I've known too many people that have had close calls. That the penis needs to be hard before you insert it. It was an awkward first time. That not everyone comes every time you have sex or that not all women come from intercourse alone. How messy it actually is. A lot of people you don't want to have sex with will want to have sex with you. And a lot of people you want to have sex with don't want to have sex with you. The sex you want. You ain't getting. The sex you getting. You don't want. Porn is to sex what resting is to fighting. That slow loving intense kisses on the not so erogenous areas while breathing in the sweet smell of your partner with your eyes closed. Heightens the pleasure for both the participants. A lot more than the stuff like angle, G-spot, etc. Learnt this very late. Whipped cream and chocolate syrup sound fun in theory. But in practice creates a sticky mess that is a not fun to clean up and attracts bugs. Oh well. To each their own. That it all spills right out. Usually girls will say yes to sex in a tub full of jello to seem fun and outgoing but when if you actually follow through with it, most will chicken out. Once your dick's inside her, aim for her belly button. First time I tried it, things shifted into a totally different gear. 
there is no blowing involved in a blowjob. Imagine my surprise. Despite what pop culture has historically taught us, it's not always the guy in a relationship with a higher sex drive. I never thought I'd have to beg my husband for sex. It is most definitely not like porn. I came of age in the pre-internet era. We had to rely on older brothers and the generous forest for porn magazines. Or if we were really lucky, we would stumble upon someone's father's porn collection, usually hidden in their sock drawer on a Betamax tape. Finding one of those tapes was like hitting the pubescent lottery Oh, I still remember that classic film Holly Goes to Hollywood. Thank you to my friend Drew's dad. Although a year later we found an incredibly disturbing horse movie in the same drawer. My dad didn't sit me down to teach me the birds and the bees. So I learned my moves from Ron Jeremy and Seca. How was I supposed to know that I wasn't supposed to jackhammer a girl while fingerbanging her? How was I supposed to know that sex could have different rhythms and speeds? How was I even supposed to know that a clit even existed? I learned when a very kind girl showed me what I should be doing. It was kind of embarrassing. But I'm damn grateful now. I wish I knew what sex was really like. I have no idea if this is true of other women, but I can usually tell how much porn a guy the first sleep with has watched because of how they have sex. If they watch a lot it's basically pound 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 hair pull pound pull out cum which has all the actual physical joy of inserting a tampon. Study cunnilingus. Practice cunnilingus. Become cunnilingus. Die knowing that you will never know all there is to know about cunnilingus. This is good. Even if you're shit at normal sex she'll let you do it so you'll eat her out. I had the whole premature ejaculation thing when I was new to sex and the confidence I got knowing I could get her off from oral was enough to remove my anxiety and the previously mentioned Prem EJ problem. That the amazing feeling of coming inside that lasts 5 seconds isn't worth the month long waiting game to find out if she is pregnant. But at the time it feels like it is. Especially when she begs for you to. Drunk me says I should every time. But then again drunk me as an idiot. Drunk me usually makes pizza rolls. Can't get a pizza roll pregnant. Sooner or later, one of you will do something utterly embarrassing. It will be absolutely mortifying. A good partner will not care. I was jerking off on my girlfriend's tits and farted on her stomach. Not something that I wish I had been told but maybe will benefit some people. Regular sex with the same person is better than multiple one night stands. Nobody ever told me that after he came inside me it would leak back out slowly. I just though my vagina would somehow sponge it up. The weird noises. Oh. The weird noises. And the noises you swear didn't come from either one of you. I think Jack taught me everything I needed to know. You don't always have to f*** her hard. In fact sometimes that's not right to do. Sometimes you've got to make some love. And f give her some smooches too. Kinky is fun. Kinky is not like it appears in the pornos. A pair of handcuffs does not a dominatrix make. Thank God. Fifty Shades of Grey is not safe kinky either. The scent of musk. I only smells bad when you're not getting it. Lived in a small apartment with a roommate who banged his girlfriend daily. I resorted to drugs and alcohol to dull my senses for the few hours a day I spent there. It's all about rhythm. I was just like trying to go as fast as I could at first and I ended up doing this weird fish out of water full body flail motion for like a whole 6 months. Damn dude. You kept going for 6 months. That's gotta be some kind of record. This should be obvious. But it wasn't. Cut your nails to perfection. I guess this works for both sides. The women are supposed to enjoy it too. I had always been under the impression that when having sex, the guy just comes and that's it. It wasn't until my second boyfriend that I figured this out and I thought wow, this feels really good. Is this supposed to happen? You poor, poor thing. She said her second boyfriend. It could have been worse. Antibiotics impact the effectiveness of birth control pills. Luckily I never had to deal with this situation, but this information definitely belongs in sex ed in high school. That sex has a unique smell. Anyone can walk into a room and immediately know someone just had sex. Similar note, don't do it in a small, confined space such as a tent. The smell intensifies and your friends are drawn to inviting themselves in like moths to a flame. Breathe. Damn it. Changing positions every 30 seconds not actually required despite what porn clips had taught me. Earlier in my life, I also believed this, then. I realized it's a strategic maneuver, it can help keep you going for longer. 
I wish someone had told me how tired sex makes you. I definitely would have been paying more attention to cardio all these years if I knew. A mutual appreciation for facials should not be assumed. Your cock shouldn't go near her till she's slick as a baby seal. And then you go inside. But slowly. Don't jam it in like you're spearing a pig. Spear baby seals. Got it. It's wetter, squishier and sweatier than you imagined, and you'll like it that way. Post-coital rush. I've said more I regret after sex than I have trying to get it. Post-coital shame for the hookup types. Nothing is worse than lying in bed with a girl you want nothing to do with going what the hell have you gotten yourself into this time Charlie Brown. That ladies really, really, really should pee after sex. No exceptions. Unless you'd like an annoying UTI. I'm 23 and I only just learned this. And I still don't do it. It's cold out there. Indoor plumbing may help. Boobs do not feel like bags of sand. Me so horny. Me so stupid. Sex is way more important for a marriage to last than you would think. That anal requires quite a bit of preparation. Empty your bowels and lay out the towels. And bring a tube of your finest lube. Try not to clench and don't mind the stench. But she might not go down, because it's turned brown. That you might get attached to someone through it, and that they might not feel attached to you. Sex is something you do with a girl, not to her. When you get invited back to a guy's place for coffee, there's no coffee. Want to go back to my place for coffee? I don't like coffee. Neither do I. Don't get too attached to your first. Miss Reed is fist. Still works.